What is the highest form of love? Today's gospel, Jesus commands us with that familiar command to love one another. But he also gives us the highest form of fulfilling that command. He says, there is no greater love than this, than to lay down one's life for your friends. I was at a family's house for dinner a while back and something super funny happened and uh, something that also made me think a lot. I was having dinner with the family. They have a bunch of, they have seven little kids under the age of 10. And as you can imagine with that, there's chicken nuggets going everywhere and milk falling over and all kinds of stuff. And at one point, one of the little girls, she's about three or four years old, she spilled her drink. And I just, you know, the parents are busy, so I naturally just grabbed a paper towel and I wiped it up. And she said, thank you. And I said, hey, no problem. It's the least I could do. And she looked at me kind of confused and she said, it's the least you could do. What's the most you could do? And I've been thinking about that question ever since. That so often in life, with ourselves, with other people, with God, we're kind of asking, what's, what's the least we could do? To just get by, to just pass, to make God happy enough to where He lets us into heaven. When really the path of love, the path of Christ, is to not say, what's the least I could do? But to say, what's the most I could do? What's the most I could do for my neighbor? What's the most I could do for God? Because Jesus on the cross, he did the most for us. He gave the most he could possibly give, his very life. May we have the grace to do the same, to do the most we can for God, to give our lives completely.